Our next studio visit is with Sandra Voss from Cookville, Tennessee, an oil painter, and uh, she happens to be um, gallery sitting this day. Tell me about your studio. Tell me about your place downtown. Oh, okay. Well, it's not really a studio. It's more like a gallery, but I do paint there okay. a couple of days a week. And um, I get a lot of traffic because there's a little restaurant, uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, uh, bistro right across the hall. Oh, I know where you been are. There. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so we get people coming in. I've made friends and talked and lots of compliments and so on. Uh, yeah, so that's me, and uh, you can see everything through the windows if I'm not there. Tell me about your art career. Tell me about how you got started, when you got started, where oh, you went to school. Well, or... that was a hundred years ago. Well, I know, <laughs> but that's, that's part of the uh, interest. Well, I'll try to really condense this. Uh, I lived in California most of my life, and I wanted to paint so bad it, it hurt. So. I started painting and taking little workshops here and there and uh, getting what I could off the streets, you know, whatever there was going on and um, did pretty good. Actually, I, I did pretty good by myself, but I didn't know one thing. I was just a, from a little Dutch community and I knew nothing about art uh, and, and a big, the big art. So I met Mike teacher and my friend and my mentor, Michael. Michael Lindstrom was his name. He since has passed away, but he had a chance to go to Paradise, California. And his, we had a mutual friend and she owned a five acres and a house and a huge barn, a barn and a garage. And she said he could go there and start a school. And so he came to me, and I had all, only known him for a short time, but I guess he knew we would be good. So he asked me to come with him. So my husband and I went, and we lived in a little trailer on the property. And that's in that time, about four years, I turned the corner of my art because I had a teacher, a genius teacher, and I learned real art and what I, you know, all it's all about. So since then, I've just been living my dream. I feel it was a real gift just for me yeah. because our, at Paradise, all we did is dance out of the stars, drink wine, paint, and I had no family. I just had me, and that's the first time in my life I had me. So it was really great. That's how, uh, and the rest is history, and uh, I've been quite successful in uh, Kofu. Yeah. I know they have for a little town. And, uh, but if you had asked me years ago, wouldn't it, if that was gonna happen here, I'd say no. But there, here I am. Here you are. Okay, we're gonna move to the other side of the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do I wanna know? Uh, okay, well right now you're sitting in a gallery, but you're working. I work in the gallery. The girls that are participate in this, we usually try to paint here. We're here for, uh, what, five hours, four or five hours. So we paint. So it's kind of like a co-op gallery? Yes, it is. Okay. Kind of. Cool. Sort of. Um, so I brought this painting to work on, and I work, worked on that painting today. And um, I brought canvases so I can paint other things. Um, I paint at home a lot. Yeah. And I paint my little place in town. Have you got regular hours there? Or is it just. Yes, I usually go from 10 to 2 ah. there as so well. Ah. So, um, yeah. So that's what I do. And when were you in paradise? What year was that? It, it was, you know, we, I think we came here like in 97, 98. From Paradise? Yeah. Ah. And uh, so I was there about four years and just had the last. And. So that was after the kids were grown and. Oh yeah. They were pretty much grown all doing their own thing. Not necessarily right, but they did. <laughs> 
Yeah. But I do like I do like to paint uh, uh, still lifes. I like to paint still life because uh, I learned, and everyone could learn more about painting if you paint uh, that still life is your teacher. It has everything you need to know, and it doesn't move. So. And you teach. And I've taught for all these years in Cookville, Tennessee. I sure have. Children and adults. And, you know, I've had many, many, many kids yeah. and adults as well. Now, those are both in private lessons as well as in workshops. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, I used to be in town a lot more. I used to have a place at 39 West Broad here in Cookville. But um, I went home and things happened in my life. So I kind of, now I'm back here again. So. I understand. <laughs> And in the middle of the interview, in comes Adrian Stone, another one of the audacious uh, artists uh, and good friend of Sandy. Let's see. She has been my friend for a long, long time, and I always know I can go to Adrian and get and I might tell you the truth. truth. <laughs> if you don't tell me the truth, you will. Well, it's got to be 20 years. Yes. Right? <laughs> Wasn't it like 97 when I got here? So, I just remember that bombing over there in Oklahoma or something. That oh. guy that blew up that thing right. that went there and it had just happened. And uh, so I just remember that. And I think it was in 97. Yeah. Is it Can you believe Yes, it is. Oh, it is on. That's oh. Shadow. Mm -hmm. Welcome Shadow. to Sh Shadow. Welcome. This is my dog, Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> And that's because he literally is her shadow. He goes everywhere. He goes with you in your painting. Yep, he's mm. scored. And, and so you ladies met. Okay, that's how. I'll tell you how. She says she wants to I was at a little gallery that used to be in town that Joy Ferguson had. Maybe Joy right. Ferguson yep. had. Absolutely. And I went in and I saw these paintings. And I asked her, I said, who is that person? I've got to meet them. Anyway, it was Sandy. So I and I was look, I was looking at the J C Penney's at the time. Yeah, her paintings just blew me away. And really so cool. Adrian was the first one. She got, got gathered all these paintings of mine, and I had a little show in town at Poets Coffee House, and pretty much sold out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so people would come to J C Penney's, and I was working in the catalog department, and they say, oh, "Aren't you a, a lady that?" Uh, paints. I said, yeah. I said, what are you doing here? I said, yeah, I don't know. So Adrian talked me into quitting my job mm -hmm. and we got a little gallery together, yeah. a, a studio, and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we did little classes. And did oh, we classes. had a big gallery on the, on the square oh, as well. And we, yeah, and then we went to the oh. square. Cool. So, so that's been fun. Oh, I'm learning all kinds of things. I mean, I've known these ladies for about 10 years. I didn't know a lot of this stuff. So this is new information for me. This is great. He doesn't care. Our first gallery was that little, used to be years ago, a little oh store. Oh my gosh. It was across from Bob School. Tell, tell them how oh, we it was got there. It cold in winter. But tell them how we thought about it. We were on our way somewhere. Oh, that's we right. Were, yeah. as, we weren't needed a, uh, a name for our little new gallery. And studio, so we got ah. throwing stuff out, and I said, "Oh well, it could be show and tell." She goes, "That's it, show and tell gallery." Yeah. We're gonna, so we had a show and tell gallery yeah. Ah. Yeah. at a little grocery store, and uh, so ah. and you had a grocery store too. In the it was a grocery. It was. Store. Oh, it was, it was a, a grocery little, store. Little country groceries ah. at one time by the capsule scoop. Okay, but you weren't selling groceries in Art at the um, same time. No. no. Okay, we just clarifying. Just, we were just eating just and painting. <laughs> and we were selling. That's true. But then we moved to the square, and we were the ones that started the art crowd. We decided that we needed to have, you know, people need to see artists in their homes and, and art their studios and where they worked. And so we started this together. There were 10 artists that first year. Yeah. That one was Nancy, remember? Nancy. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah. She was in that. Cool. Who were some of the original artists in that group? Do you remember? 
What was her well, name? Brad Sells. Brad. She was on. Ah! Yeah. And um, me, uh, Sally, Sally Fran Jagger. Yeah. Uh, Norma Inman. Norma Inman. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Norma. her work. I love her work. Every time she'd come into Art a la carte and say, are you painting? Are you painting? I just yeah. loved her. Norma's a sweet lady. Yeah. Was our mine on it? I don't remember. I think he might have been. Yes. My brother does oh, artworks. Yeah, and oh. one time we had, uh, on the square, one time we had artwork. What's a TV show we were in? Oh, uh, oh yeah, what was it? Tennessee uh, Crossroads. Crossroads, I guess. Yes, mm -hmm. we did Tennessee. Well, we uh -huh. didn't do it, but Armand did it Armand. in our Get studio. Get in your studio. Armand yeah, so we were in like, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. We pretended we were customers, and we we I forgot pretend, that. we're going to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Cool. Uh, yeah. So we eventually, actually, our mind came and built walls, so we would each have our own little studios that we could lock up. Because this building was a hundred feet long, you know, the interior. Oh room, so yeah, it was great. It was so big. It was hey, wonderful. You need to do that again. Y'all need to do that again. Oh, well, that was a, that Turn was never, that, that came and probably never happened again. We were a lot younger. <laughs> yes, I understand. Although, what I like about the <laughs> online auction idea is the fact of not having to pack up and move things and hang them. Because this, when I was doing my big paintings, I had a truck. I could haul the big paintings. I remember your truck. I sold it, and then oh. up comes the show in October. Oh. I had to go haul, rent a Hugh haul because my current truck, I can't get them in the, because of the camper. I know. So, I remember my husband talking about your truck. He goes, oh, is that the lady that has that truck? With those weird, yeah, yeah, with the weird, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those that signs was, would come up, and I could put them in sideways. Isn't that something? That's how I hauled them. I had a gallery down in Atlanta for a while, and that's how I, instead of shipping them, I just drive them down there, isn't go visit some, my buddies. Isn't she great? Yeah. Now we didn't we have some stuff in Alabama together? Yeah. Wherever your yeah, wherever that was. Your friends and sister uh, uh, sister yeah. had a friend who had a gallery, and we took stuff there. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Forgot the name of it, yeah. I do too. Well, I used to be uh, in Chattanooga for about three, four years. Oh. In, in a gallery. Okay. So, and I did really well there. And um, that was the day, and I'm not there anymore. <laughs> so, uh, one day I just decided to go down to uh, Broad Street, 39 West Broad, and visit uh, Sandy in her other gallery. Uh, this is her space. Uh, this was a big old building that was converted and there's offices and um, small storefronts all along the way. Uh, right here coming up on our left is the bistro and cafe. And it's a little noisy and over here to the right is the entrance to Sandy's place. Let's say hi. Now, how long have you been in this space? Uh, I guess uh, since last March. So it's March 2018. Yes. Okay. Cool. So it's going on two years. I mean, a whole year. And I don't know if I'm going to stay here or not, but we'll see. But you come in what? Two days a two week. Two days a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays. I try to make it, and I paint. Uh, usually paint. And people love to come and visit, and they love to watch people painting. Yeah. So just like this gal that just was here, she she's a painter. She paints Santa Claus and stuff, but she also a very realistic clay paints a lot of uh, people, and she's very good at it. But anyway, it's fun, and uh, I've met lots of good people. Well, and, and are you still teaching? I have people at my home. I teach at my home. I have a yeah. You've got a studio at your home yes, too. Yes, I do. It's a big place. Yeah. Actually. Probably and should have and should have. Well, I have more paintings here. I don't have anything at home. No. Oh. Everything's in town between okay. the two galleries. Yeah, because you're doing this one on Tuesday, Thursday, and then the other one on Friday. On Fridays. 
Good. So, and I have more paintings there than I do here. So, but you um, don't teach here. No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't teach anywhere but at home. Okay. And on Saturday morning. All right. So. Good deal. I'm All gonna, right. I'm also going to pan back here and show folks that this is, she's got a storefront. She's sort of like a little fish in an aquarium that people can come by, walk, and look in and, and I see. Leave my door open. And well, we've got it closed right now because yeah. of the, uh, there's a cafe right across the hall and it was a little, little chatty. A little uh, noisy. But it's kind of fun. And, and, you know, when I saw this, it was small. But it's amazing what you can do in this. Oh, you've small. got... I'm doing very, A dozen. And there's a ladder in here because I rehung some stuff. So normally that ladder's not there. And oh, so well. I have lots of space. I have two chairs. I have a sink. You've got a sink? Yeah, some and wash brushes. I can do anything. Yeah. And a bathroom down the hall. Right there. There you go. What more do you need? In a cafe across the hall. Oh you got it God. all. <laughs> I think I want to stay here forever. No, you just gotta bring a sleeping bag and roll you know, it out at you night. You don't realize what you have. Yeah. Thank you. All That's right. great.